WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 132. NASDAQ is up 114. S&P is up 6.5. Gold. Gold contract trading up $3.80 at 2,330 an ounce. We have silver down 53 cents, $29.33 an ounce. Late sweet crude up 24 cents, $77.98 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10-year note up 14 ticks, trading 109.17. The 30-year up 26 at 117.23 in King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 78 ticks at 105.228. Euro at 107. Yen, 157. British pound, 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Let's go into the futures first and take a look at the S&P. So you have both NDX. Well, the, the Apple's running the NDX in a monster way, man. A Apple's at all-time highs, has huge volume. We'll see how this shakes out with Apple. This might be a blow off top with Apple. It's gonna be kind of cool watching this whole thing shake out because the, the volume is pretty astronomical. So we take a look at the S&Ps first. And um, bottom line, you know, we've just, well, at get-go in the morning, yeah, we got down to this 53.34. Guess what, didn't look back. Now there's no, there's no juice all the way up. Well, there's a juice. Yeah, this juice at the highs right now. That the most contracts was at the highs when it spiked at 30 minutes ago. That's on the S and P's. So if we take a look at that. That's just about at all time highs. The Q's, no doubt. When you see this, this is this is definitely at all time highs. The Q's are up. Uh, NDX 100 is up 107 points, and that is going away from the highs. The last high up here was uh, 155, 19, 155, we're at 19, 215. And if we put this on the same 10 minute, there's no real down, down at all today. You know, bottom line, at the get go, but then what you did, you made one leg up. Look at this, what did, yeah, you did a 50% retracement, and then you, the next leg up, uh, bottom line is that, yeah, just, it's trending up, man. And at the high of 19,232, this volume up there. So that's going to get tested. We went to the note and bond market. So we had a 10-year note auction that was strong out here today. That took the bond market up 14 ticks. Now, the volume's not behind this move, and the bond market's going to move tomorrow for sure. So we'll see the rest of this checks out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.